good morning students today we shall discuss the multiple choice question from the chapter life processes any more questions to be discussed today so we shall start life processes multiple choice questions So the very first question we come across, I am going to take the transportation and the excretion. So from these two topics, I have taken up the multiple choice questions for the today's session. The component of blood, the component of blood, which makes chemicals, which makes chemicals known as antibodies is the options given are the platelets, white blood cells, The third option given is red blood cells and the last option given is plasma. So what the question is, they have asked the component of the blood which makes chemicals known as antibodies. Right? The antibodies, they are formed by the white blood cells. Right? The white blood cells, as we know, these are the soldiers of the body. They help to fight against the infection. And to fight against the infection, the antibodies are required. So, the antibodies, they are produced by the white blood cells into the human beings. The next question we come across, that is, which of the following? Which of the following? Carries substances, carries substances upwards as well as downwards in a plant, in a plant. The options given are xylem, the second option is companion cells, the third option is trachets, and the last option is phloem. So, what the question is, which of the following carries of substances upwards as well as downwards. The first option, xylem, it helps in the conduction of food, sorry, xylem that helps in the conduction of water, which is a unidirectional flow. So only upward movement of the water can be seen. So this will not be your answer. Companion cells, these are the component of the phloem tissue, right? The third one here, trachytes, which is again, the component of the xylem that helps in the conduction of water and overall phloem which helps in the conduction of food upwards as well as downwards. So your answer should be the phloem tissue. The next question, one of the following is one of the following is not a constituent one of the following is not a constituent of blood this one is
the options given are red blood cells option b is white blood cells option c is platelets and the option d is the c plates the question is one of the following is not a constituent of blood the constituent of blood what it is consisting of consisting of the plasma consisting of red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets so the option a definitely it's not going to be your answer option b no option c not at all as these are the components of the blood all the first second and the third options they are not the answer and your answer is c plates c plates these are found into the plants into the phloem tissue in the c tube cells the presence of the perforated plates are present which are called to be as c plates so this is not a component of the blood as it is related with the plants the next question we come across if a patient is put if a patient is put on dialysis he is most likely he is most likely suffering from suffering from a severe ailment severe ailment of the the first option circulatory medium the second option respiratory system the third option excretory system and the last option so the last option given is digestive system so what the question is if a patient is put on dialysis what is dialysis it is a artificial kidney which helps in filtering the blood isn't it so dialysis is it is related with the excretory system the answer should be the excretory system check on the options given circulatory medium no way related with the dialysis respiratory system not at all and it's the excretory system wherein the purification of the blood in extreme case when the kidney failure when the kidney failure takes place at that time dialysis has to be taken place so dialysis is related with the excretory system the next question we come that is the fifth question a blood vessel which carries blood back to the heart is options given are artery the second option is vein option c is capillary and the option d is platelet a blood vessel so the blood vessel is consisting of arteries veins and the capillaries which carries blood back to the heart see the question it is the blood vessel taking the blood 
back to the heart. We had seen the differences between the arteries and veins, isn't it? Arteries, they are taking the blood away from the heart and the veins, they are taking the blood towards the heart. So, here your answer should be blood vessels which carries blood back to the heart. The option should be the vein. It is taking the blood towards the heart. So, your answer should be vein. The next question, blood is pumped blood is pumped from the heart to the entire body to the entire body by option A lungs option B ventricles option C atria and the option D which is nerves so the, the blood is pumped from the heart to the entire body pumping of the blood is done by the ventricle of course but from the heart it is taken to the entire body through what it is taken by the uh, to the entire body, it is through the arteries, through the iota. So, your answer should be the atria. The next question, we come across. It is the blood leaving the tissues. becomes richer in the option given are carbon dioxide, option B is water, option C is oxygen and option D is hemoglobin. What the question is, the blood leaving the tissues. That means when the cellular activities, when the oxygenated blood has been taken up to the cells, cellular activities are carried out, the waste in the form of carbon dioxide is released into the blood. So when the blood is leaving from the cells, that means it is carrying up the carbon dioxide as a waste into it. So what the question is, the blood leaving the tissues becomes richer in the option A, that is carbon dioxide should be your answer. The next question. Question number 8. What prevents the backflow of blood back flow of blood inside the heart inside the heart during contraction during contraction the options given are Thick muscular walls. Option B. Bulbs. Option C. Thin walls of atria. And D. All of the above. So, we had seen uh, the valves that prevents the backflow of the blood. So, into the heart, it is due to the valves present, which is preventing the backflow of the blood back into the 
arteries or ventricles. So it is the function of the uh, valves that is preventing the backflow of the blood. The next question. Question number nine. Which brain drains? Which vein brings the clean blood from the lungs from the lungs into the heart into the heart options given are The options given are renal vein, option B, pulmonary vein, option C, venicoma, and the option D is hepatic vein. Into the question. Which vein brings the clean blood? The clean blood is nothing but consisting of the oxygen into it. So the oxygenated blood is brought to the heart through the pulmonary vein. Okay, the renal vein, it is carrying up the clean blood which is free from urea but consists of the carbon dioxide into it. That is why we call it to be as a clean, um, we call it to be as Pure blood that is entering into the renal vein, but which is free from urea. If we see the venicema, they are taking up the deoxygenated blood into it. But clean blood here refers to the oxygenated blood, which is brought through the pulmonary vein into the heart. See, vein, clean blood and the heart. So on this, you have to think and then mark the answer. The next question we come across that is the flowing tissue is responsible for the flowing tissue is responsible for the transport of the transport of Options given are water, option B, minerals, option C, sugar, and the option D, all of the above. Check here the phloem tissue. Phloem tissue is responsible for what? It is responsible for the transport of food. Water is not a food. Minerals are also not the food. It is the sugar which is in the form of food present into the plant. So the sugar is transported by the phloem tissue. The next question. Question number 11. Yes. Which of the following has which of the following has three chambered heart? Three chambered heart. Options given are pigeon. Option B, lizard. Option C, fish. And the last option is lion. So, three chambered heart we come across into the amphibians and the reptiles. Among these pigeons belong to the apes, lizard belongs to the reptiles, fish, class and the lion to the mammals. So, 
Lizard is a reptile in which we come across three chambered heart. So they may give you directly the classes or they may give you the examples. So on the basis of that, you should be very thorough into the names that are present into the amphibians and the reptiles. The next question, question number 12. Which of the following has? Which of the following has two chambered heart? Which of the following has two chambered heart? Options given are pigeon, lizard, fish and the lion. But here see that heart is consisting of two chambered and two chambered heart is seen only into the fish. So the answer should be fish. The next question, the process of carrying, the process the process of carrying food from the leaves food from the leaves to the other parts of a plant is called option A Transpiration, option B, transportation, option C, translocation, option D, it is transformation. The process of carrying the food from the leaves to the different parts of the plant body. What it is called to be as? Is it called to be as transpiration? Not at all. Transpiration, it is loss of water, excess loss of water. Transportation, of course it is transportation, but it is not the method which is related with this. So, it is translocation. Translocation is nothing but the movement of the soluble food material from the leaves to the different parts of the plant body. So, translocation is the answer for the question. The next question. Which of the following which of the following helps in the Helps in the upward movement upward movement of water and dissolved minerals dissolved minerals from the roots. from the roots to the leaves to the stem to the stem so the options given are transportation option b translocation Option C, tropic movement and lastly it is the transpiration. 
See, which of the following helps in the upward movement of the water and the dissolved minerals? The upward movement of the water and the minerals, dissolved minerals, the process we call it to be as ascent of sap. This ascent of sap, how is it carried out? It is carried out because of the suction pressure created by the transpiration. So, among the option, whether transpiration is present, first check that and put your answer. Yes, in your options, transpiration has been given, which creates a suction pressure because of which the upward movement of the water and the dissolved minerals is seen into the plant. So, the answer should be the transpiration. The next question. Question number 15. Which of the following? Which of the following? Does not have, does not have, what? Option A, heart. Option B, arteries. Option C, capillaries. Option D, veins. See the question, which of the following is not cons consisting of the valves? Not consisting of the valves means it is the arteries. It is the arteries. The same question can be asked, which one of the following is consisting of the valves? At that time, veins will be your answer. So, be thorough into that function so that what kind of the question has been asked on the basis of that you are choosing your answers. Sometimes you will get confused with the options at that time. Analyze very properly and go with your answer. The next question we come across. Coagulation. Coagulation of blood in cut or wood is brought is brought about by the options given are plasma, option B, platelets, option C, white blood cells and the option D, that is the red blood cells. So here what the question is, it is the coagulation. Coagulation means clotting of the blood. So, clotting of the blood or coagulation of the blood in the cut or wound, that is into the injury, is brought up because of what? Not because of the plasma, because it helps in the transportation of the dissolved uh, carbon dioxide. Platelets, of course, the answer should be the platelets because platelets, the function is it helps to clot the blood at the site of injury. So, here coagulation is nothing but the clotting of the blood. White blood cells, they are not the answer. Red blood cells, they are not the answer. So, platelets will be the answer for the question. The next, the blood which carries the blood which carries oxygenated blood sorry the blood vessel it should be the blood vessel the blood vessel which carries oxygenated blood oxygenated blood from the lungs from the lungs to the heart is the options given are
the options given are main artery option b given as pulmonary artery pulmonary artery option c main vein option d which is pulmonary vein pulmonary vein so what the question is here the blood vessel which carries oxygenated blood clean blood oxygenated blood pure blood all are carried out through the pulmonary vein from it is the clean blood the oxygenated blood or the pure blood is taken from the lungs to the heart through the pulmonary vein itself so don't get confused with the wording said analyze those words and give your answer next question the instrument for measuring the instrument for measuring blood pressure is called option a manometer option b barometer option c spigmo manometer and the last option as potentiometer potentiometer yes the instrument to measure the blood pressure is called to be as spigmo manometer okay remember this spigmo manometer rest all they are not related with the biology part so here we come across the spigmo manometer which helps to measure the blood pressure it is an instrument by which we can know the blood pressure of a person the next question question number 19 the excreting unit the excretory unit in the human in the human excretory system human excretory system is called option a neuron option b water option c urea option d nephron so the structural and functional unit of the excretory system in human beings what it is called to be as not the neuron but it is the nephron don't get confused with neuron and nephron neuron those are for the nerves but here the nephron it is related with the excretory system the kidney so structural and functional units of the kidney are the nephrons the next question the substance which is not the substance which is not reabsorbed reabsorbed into the blood the substance which is not reabsorbed into the blood capillaries surrounding the tissue surrounding the tissue of a nephron
is mainly option A, glucose, option B, amino acid, option C, urea, option D, water. So what the question is? The substance which is not reabsorbed, not reabsorbed, we had seen into the structural uh, uh, unit of the kidney necron, the glomerulus, Bowman's capsule, tubular part and the collecting ducts were present. Into the tubular part, the reabsorption of the essential nutrients takes place. So essential nutrients are nothing but the glucose, amino acid and water. So these are going to be reabsorbed into the tubular part of the nephron. But the impurity in the form of urea is present along with those essential nutrients which will not be reabsorbed into the tubular part. So your answer should be the urea. The next question, question number 21. In our blood, which destroy, which destroy, this is causing, this is causing germs are. Germs are the option number one that is platelets, second option skin cells, third option red blood cells, and the last option is the white blood cells. So, the blood cells which destroy disease causing germs. So, our body into the uh, blood, the presence of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets and the plasma is present. Among these components of the blood, it is the white blood cells which are known to be as the soldiers of the body. What do soldiers do? They protect, isn't it? So these white blood cells, they protect us from the disease causing germs. So your answer should be white blood cells. The next question we come across that is in autotrophs, in autotrophs, water is transported, water is transported through option A, root hair. Option B, stomata. Option C, phloem. Option D, xylem. So, the question is in autotropes, water is transported through root hair. Autotropes are nothing but the plants because they are preparing their own food. So, autotropes, they are called to be as autotropes. And the plants, how the conduction of the uh, water will be taking place? It is because of the vascular tissue, the xylem. So, into the autotroph, xylem helps in the transport of water. So, xylem will be your answer for the question. The next question number 23. What's the question here? We go. An animal having an animal having double circulation an animal having double circulation in a three chamber three chamber heart is option is given as fish the deer 
side and the snake. The question is double circulation. We had seen in case of amphibians, the reptiles, double circulation takes place. Even in case of apes and mammals, double circulation takes place. Here, when double circulation is taking place, it depends again on what type of the heart is. Double circulation in three-chambered heart. Three-chambered heart is found into the amphibians and the reptiles. So here, among the following, which one is a reptile? Fish belongs to class Physis, deer to the mammals, sparrow to the apes. It is the snake which belongs to the reptile. So your answer should be snake, which is consisting of three-chambered heart and hence double circulation takes place into it. The next question, the respiratory pigment The respiratory pigment in human beings, in human beings is option A, carotene, option B, chlorophyll, option C, mitochondria and the last option that is hemoglobin. The last option is hemoglobin. So the respiratory pigment into the human beings it is the hemoglobin. This hemoglobin it is having greater affinity towards the oxygen because of which it is referred to be as the respiratory pigment. The next question. Here we go with question number 25. So many questions we are coming across. Question number 25. Which plant tissue which plant tissue transports transports water and minerals water and minerals from the roots from the roots to the leaf to the leaf so what the options are phloem that helps in the conduction of food, parenchyma, which is a simple permanent tissue. Option C is parenchyma, which is again a simple permanent tissue. And lastly, it is the xylem. It is the xylem. So, vascular tissue xylem helps in the conduction of water and minerals. The next question. Name a circulatory name a circulatory fluid in human body in human body other than blood. So we had studied in the circulatory medium. We come across two different circulatory mediums into the human beings. One of them is the blood and the other one, let us see what options they have given. It is the platelets. Option B, red blood cells. Option C, lymph and option D, that is plasma. See, human into the human body, the circulatory fluid other than the blood. So, other than the blood means platelets, it is a component of blood. White blood cells, again, component of the blood. 
plasma it is also the component of the blood so leaving the blood it is only the lymph which is the circulatory medium into the human body the next question name the tube name the tube which connects which connects the kidneys the kidneys to the urinary bladder to the urinary bladder so what are the options given options given are nephron option b urethra option c tubule and the last one ureter if you remember the diagram of the human excretory system we come across a pair of kidney a pair of ureters a urinary bladder and the urethra so ureters connect the kidney to the urinary bladder so here what the question is name the tube which connects the kidney to urinary bladder so it is a ureter so your answer should be ureter the next question we come across that is question number 28 so what the question is let us see which part of nephron which part of nephron allows the selective allows the selective reabsorption selective reabsorption of useful substances of useful substances like glucose amino acid salts and water and water into the blood capillaries into the blood capillaries so what options have been given here it is ureter glomerulus then the tubule and the last one is the bowman's capsule bowman's capsule so ureters they are connected from the kidney to the urinary bladder this is not the answer glomerulus what is it to it helps to filter the blood so this is not your answer tubule what this tubule do tubule that helps in the reabsorption what kind of the reabsorption is done selective reabsorption by selection here selection is required for the essential nutrients which has to be entering into the blood so what the question is part of nephron that allows the selective reabsorption of the useful substances so here selective reabsorption of the useful substances will be carried out into the tubule bowman's capsule it is the region a cup shaped structure where in the filtrate is collected so that is not your answer the next question we come across that is where is the where is the dirty blood in our body 